Today I'm playing the career of Jordan Love and not stopping until the day he retires. We start off in the current day NFL with Jordan as a 75 overall with normal development. Now the main question is will he sign an extension with the Packers after next season and if he does will his career be as successful as his predecessor? From here we're simming to the end of the first season and will continue to do so season by season making sure to track his career every step of the way until Jordan actually makes a Super Bowl which at that point I'll play the entire game and try my absolute best to get him his first ever ring. Well the Jordan Love era has got off to a fantastic start. I mean Jordan already led a top 5 offense and they had a pretty good defense too. I mean honestly why keep Aaron Rodgers when you can have Jordan Love? Like what a season that is. Now I do wonder if these numbers are good enough to potentially have won an MVP and apparently the Packers offense had the running game down too. My god Christian Watson. I'm telling you if Jordan Love actually stays in Green Bay long term I am so so excited to see the development between him and all of these receivers. What are the odds Jordan Love actually kicked things off with an MVP? Not quite. He did come in the top 10 though, right outside the top 5. I mean, what a freaking start to his Packers career. Pretty decent development in his first season up to a 79 overall. Now, if he can just get this normal development trait to improve to star this offseason, things might really start getting crazy. Now, for Jordan's challenge today, it is absolutely vital he has the best career possible because if he can complete all five of his career objectives before he retires i have to go and buy a jordan love jersey and wear it in my videos for an entire week i would actually love to add a love jersey to my collection so this man better ball out i mean i think he has a legit shot now let's see if our man can get his first playoff win of his career he just has to beat his division rival and it looks like he did grab the dub so at least some progress made this first season pretty close four point victory in the wild card and if Jordan does find a way to beat the Falcons, all he has to do is play either the Cowboys or the Niners in the conference championship. I mean, I think at Lambeau Field in the playoffs, we should be beating Desmond Ritter and the Falcons, and it looks like he lost. He lost by a freaking touchdown. Oh gosh, Jordan Love is gonna have to make up for this three interception performance eventually. Good thing he's only 24 with plenty of career left to go. And I just now noticed that our man did make the Pro Bowl this season, so at least that's a little more progress. What a strange, strange Super Bowl this was to begin this career. Now, with it officially being the offseason, it's now time to see if by chance Jordan Love did improve up to at least star development, which he in fact did. And more good news on top of that, Christian Watson improved up to superstar, Jaden Reed improved to star, and his tight end Luke Musgrave also improved to star. I just hope for Jordan's sake this team can keep this defense together because they have some absolute studs on this side of the ball. Now it's time to leave this offseason into our front office's hands and we really need this front office to make some moves so we can take that next step and the Packers organization can make it back to the Super Bowl to sign some free agents, please. So even if the team does nothing else, at least they did re-sign Rashawn Gary to a six-year $140 million deal, which probably means we had no money to sign other free agents. And about that, at least have signed somebody. No, they did not sign a single free agent all freaking off season. Now offensively it seems like Jordan Love only lost one weapon and that was AJ Dillon to the Philadelphia Eagles and defensively I think we kept everybody but our strong safety which I really hope we draft somebody to fill this spot. To make up for that lackluster free agent class the front office here better conduct the best draft ever. They better have made this draft class count because they have all the extra picks from the Aaron Rodgers trade and it looks pretty solid solid. I mean, most importantly, at least we got a replacement at strong safety. We got an absolute stud at running back who could eventually replace Aaron Jones. The mid rounds were kind of stinky, but at least we hit on our first three picks. And before we do start the next season, I want to note again that this could potentially be his last year as a Packer. Although with how much I think he's actually going to progress this season, they'd be dumb not to re-sign him. I mean, with all the young players still progressing, I think the offense definitely is better than last year. And defensively, we still have studs everywhere. It just really depends how well these rookies progress. I mean, with this being Jordan Love's potential last season as a Packer, I do think this season is kind of playoff or bust. And all they did was go out and win the division again, but this time around earning themselves a first round bye. We literally had the best offense in the entire league, and defensively we were top five.
Like, already here in year two, it seems like the Packers are set up for a legitimate Super Bowl run. I mean, honest to God, dude, that legit might already be MVP numbers. Not quite 40 touchdowns, but like, come on now. And he also added with 400 yards and five touchdowns on the ground. Like, imagine his numbers if Aaron Jones didn't score 19 touchdowns. I told you guys, this young receiver core is absolutely ridiculous. And keep in mind, they're only going to get better and better. Kind of disappointed in Rashawn Gary's production after we gave him $500 billion. Now, if he actually won MVP here, that's his first career challenge completed. And Dak Prescott steals it from us. I'm telling you, dude, the Cowboys and Dak ruin all these videos. Well, I guess that's why. Now, what did Jordan's overall get up to this season? He's up to an 82 overall, but look at how much his morale is boosted. Almost a Mickey Mouse 90. He had to have made his second Pro Bowl this season. Of course he did. So even if he doesn't win a playoff game, he made some progress. Now, who does Jordan Love's Packers have to take on in the divisional round? The Giants. Keep in mind, if the Packers lose, it legit could be Jordan Love's last game as a Packer, but he's not gonna go out a Packer with a loss against the Packers at home. No way. They lose this game, and they grab the dub. Super, super close, though. Only by three. But that's more progress. Now, it's officially time for Love to make up for that horrible performance last year. And even though this game's at home, it's gonna be tough against the Eagles, who are actually way higher of an overall. But we are the one seed, bro. We got Jordan Love. We got Jordan Love, and it looks like, boys, we actually already have made it to the Super Bowl. All we have to do is be Anthony Richardson and the Colts. And my God, dude, look at all the upgrades we got. I mean, I gotta admit, the Colts do have some absolute studs on their roster. I mean, it is 80-rated Anthony Richardson that I'm worried about. There's absolutely zero way that I screw this up, right? We get the ball first here. It is vital that we get off to a fast start. And I'm gonna kind of be dumb and take a deep shot here. First play, although we have a wide open receiver streaking over the field. That's Romeo Dobbs with the first down. Gotta be smart here. Oh, we have a wide open tight end and he just completely got stuck in mud. Gotta be smart here. Not take a sack. Jordan Love has a little bit of speed to him down to the 36. Can't forget to have 90 rated Aaron Jones and that is exactly why I give him the ball. Keep going. Down to the 20. Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed with the grab. I dropped it. Oh my God. Romeo Dobbs. Gonna, oh, I dropped it too. After moving the ball, man, I don't want to have to settle for a field goal. Tight end. The tight end. Musgrave. He hung on to it down to the one. If I'm not mistaken here, Christian Watson should be wide open. And he is. Oh, I, I messed up. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Jordan Love up the middle for the touchdown as the Green Bay Packers take a 7 to nothing lead. Not gonna lie. That was a complete mistake. But hey, I'll take it. Now see if our defense can get a big stop. It's not looking good. At least we held Anthony Richardson to a field goal. Let's keep our foot on the gas here and try and score again and take a two possession lead. I would rather this not be a stressful game and it is gonna be because we took the freaking sack gonna try and get some of those yards back here with aaron jones got the blockers can't get past that defender i mean we got seven back christian watson is literally wide open off the line of scrimmage like this should be a first down and much more like why are you not covering our best receiver that's an easy first down we overthrew it. Oh my God, Jordan Love. What in the world? What in the world? Hopefully the Colts don't make us pay for that. Oh God, they're already moving the ball. Anthony Richardson's going crazy right now. He's gonna score. They're gonna take the lead. Gosh dang it. All we can do is try and make up for that. And again, dude, he's wide open. Can we actually make the throw this time? There he is. There he is. See, Jordan, why couldn't you have made that throw last drive? And make this throw to Romeo again. That's intercepted. Accepted. I thought he was open. Oh, that one stings. Our defense, though, coming up clutch. Another play action here. I don't think anybody's open, so I'm just going to take off and get sacked. Is somebody get open here. It's not looking good. We get sacked. It gets sacked. If we had a split second longer, the drag was going to be open. Who's going to provide our miracle? Is it going to be Christian Watson? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Christian Watson, keep on going. A 94-yard touchdown on third and 24. Boy. I'll take it. Oh, dude, that was so badly needed. Can we get one more clutch drive here from our defense? Oh, my God, we got a pick. Our defense is 100% belling me out right now. Oh, let's just not get sacked. Just throw the ball away. Live to see another play. Gotta make a big play. Got to. 
got to. Oh no, nobody's open. Just throw the ball away. We gotta take the three. Which after some of the bad plays we've made, I mean, I'll take a touchdown lead potentially going into halftime. Just don't let them score, man. Don't let them tie the game and the clock ran out apparently. We got the ball back though to start the half and they're slowly but surely moving our defense with another stop. I mean, I will even take a field goal on this drive. I just want a two possession lead going into the fourth. Don't want this to be a stressful altercation. Oh no! No! Oh god! I was so scared. I thought bad things were about to happen. Hopefully this read option call isn't a mistake. I'm actually gonna audible because again, bro, they're just not covering Christian Watson off the line of scrimmage. I'm gonna take exactly what the defense is giving me. A little bit of space. He's gonna make the grab and hang on. Hand off to Aaron Jones. That's our first down and more. Down to the 50. The dig route. It's open. We get seven. Trying to screen here to Aaron Jones. And somehow he caught that. That was a massive catch. Just get out of bounds. Don't fumble. First down into plus territory. Got our young rookie running back in the game now. Let's see what he can cook up. I mean, a solid three-ish yard gain. The action here. Just hit the fullback out of the flats. He somehow caught that. That was almost a pick six. Another play action. I gotta be smart with it on the run. The Titans gonna make the grab down to the one. That, my friends, is gonna take us into the fourth quarter. One more quarter, and Jordan Love is already a Super Bowl champion. Gonna give the young rookie one more carry, and boys, that is the easiest touchdown you will ever see in a Super Bowl ever. Oh, God, it's fourth and inches, and they win for it, and got it. Come on, defense. Bail me out one more time. They score a touchdown here. They're gonna have plenty of time, dude. They're gonna have plenty of time. It's first and goal, second and goal, third and goal, fourth and goal. They have to go for this. We get the ball back. First down here, boys, and the game is pretty much over. Or a touchdown. Or a touchdown. Or a touchdown. Romeo. Oh, like two more yards, and that was a touchdown. If we get this stop, the game is over, and I think they didn't get it. I think that's going to be game. And in season number two, as the Packers starting quarterback, Jordan Love has already won a Super Bowl. Now, the main question for me is if he's already won a Super Bowl in just year number two, how many more Super Bowls is this guy going to get? Because that is a good first step, but Jordan still has some so much left to accomplish before he completes his challenge. Now, the main things I want to see here. Number one, does Jordan Love again have his development trade upgrade to Superstar? And number two, they have got to re-sign Jordan. They've got to. So we have ourselves a ton of upgrades after the Super Bowl win. Now, please tell me here that Jordan's up to Superstar. And he is finally. Although his real overall is still only 83, it's wild to me that he almost has a 10 morale boost. And in other good news, bro, look at our offensive weapon. Weapons. Not only is Aaron Jones an X-Factor, so is Christian Watson. And he's another guy that the Packers have got to re-sign after next season. It's kind of crazy to me that Aaron Jones just now became an X-Factor because he's 30 and starting to regress now. And defensively, unfortunately, Rashawn Gary went down the superstar. But yo, our young rookie strong safety is already a superstar. I mean, Gary's only 27 years old. I don't understand why did he lose his development trait. But at this point, Point, I just got to send to next week and make sure that Jordan Love is signed a contract extension. The Packers would be dumb not to. And my faith in the Packers front office is restored. A five-year contract, keeping them as a Packer until the new decade. Now time to see if the front office can have a better offseason than last year so this team can actually defend their Super Bowl title next year. So at least their front office re-signed Jordan Love's blindside protector. But there's absolutely no way we went two consecutive offseasons without signing a single free agent. Agent? And you gotta be kidding me. Again, the front office has got to find a way to make up for that with a good draft class. Just give me at least the B-plus draft class here and I'll be happy. And I mean, it's definitely not as good as last season's, but at least it wasn't a complete dud. Into next season, and I'm telling you, after winning a Super Bowl, anything but a playoff appearance here is an absolute failure. I mean, it's not another one to see, but you can't be mad at a division crown in an 11-win season. I mean, it was a little dip from the 
offense this year. Same thing with the defense. I mean, a good year, but that was a little bit of a dip in production from Jordan Love. Same thing with the running game. And same thing with our wide receivers. But, like, why did Jaden Reed steal 17 touchdowns? I mean, a really weird year number three. I'm assuming he probably didn't even get an MVP vote. He came in the top 10 at number eight. I mean, did he at least make his third Pro Bowl? Yes, he did. So, at least this year wasn't a complete failure. More progression here from Jordan Love. Now up to an 87 overall. And around them, you have Christian Watson up to an 86. Jaden Reed up to an 86. I mean, the team's up to an 88 overall for crying out loud. So I think for sure, regardless of the stats being a little bit lower, we're once again a Super Bowl contender. We gotta beat the Lions here. We grab the dub. What a low score and stinker. We're gonna have to score more to beat the Niners. If we do find a way to beat the Niners, probably gonna have to take on the one seed Cowboys in the conference championship. Honestly, with the good luck that we've had so far, I have a bad, bad feeling we might not make it through here. But it's been a good season regardless. But yo, we won. We beat them by 31 points, dude. And if we win this game against the Cowboys, I think we should beat either the six or seven seed here. If Jordan Love actually makes it to back-to-back -back Super Bowls, I'm telling you, this man might be on his way to becoming the best quarterback of all freaking time. He has to beat the 13 to 4 Cowboys and we lost. Oh, dude, why do you have to do that to me? Ah, we just couldn't get anything going offensively. Even though the Cowboys did end up winning it all, I think that was a super successful season. Now, what are the odds Jordan Love actually improved up to X Factor? Not quite. And continuing the bad news, it looks like both Aaron Jones and Christian Watson lost their X Factor. Don't notice way too much change on defense here aside from our young rookie cornerback becoming a star. But now I'm just nervous because we need our front office to re-sign Christian Watson. And if they don't, I really could see this offense taking a massive step backwards. Please tell me I clicked the re-sign tab and Christian Watson's there. Oh my god, we only signed David Bakhtiari. Please don't tell me that means what I think it means. Please tell me Christian Watson is still there. Please tell me Watson is still there. Oh my god, he actually is. I thought without a shadow of a doubt he was somewhere else. Did we give him a new contract? Yes, we did. A three-year deal through 2028, and honestly, I think we also got him on the cheap. Oh, but we did lose somebody. Apparently, we didn't have enough money to re-sign Romeo Dubs, and the Rams got him. And we did replace him because for the third consecutive offseason, we didn't sign a single free agent. Hopefully, though, in typical Packers fashion, we can draft his replacement here in the second round. Please tell me we got a replacement receiver. And hilarious enough, we did get one in the first, but we actually got a better receiver in the fifth round. What an odd draft class. But I still think this offense is talented enough to make it right back to the playoffs. Let's see here if in 2026 we can actually eclipse our 11 win total from a season ago. Gosh dang it. I mean, missing the playoffs was eventually inevitable. I mean, we still had a top five offense and our defense was pretty good too. Like, what was the problem? So Jordan Love threw too many interceptions. That was the problem. I mean, still not horrible numbers. I mean, 71% completion percentage. Even though Aaron Jones is like 39 at this point, man, still putting up 19 rushing touchdowns a year. Christian Watson showing why he deserved that big contract. And at least we still do have Jaden Reed, who also got himself a big contract. And that young fifth round rookie that we drafted was an absolute legend. And the first rounder that we drafted didn't even get a single catch all year. Wow, this was the first time today that Jordan Love didn't get MVP votes. Now, if he found a way to finally eclipse 90 overall, at least this season wouldn't be a complete failure. And he's up to 88. He's getting closer and closer, but not quite there yet. Which, he's only 27 years old, so he still has plenty of room to grow. Now, I do want to go ahead and send past the Super Bowl to see if anybody becomes an X-Factor this offseason. Oh, what a shocker. The Cowboys go back to back. Now, did Jordan Love finally become a superstar X-Factor? I feel like it's an inevitable at this point. No, he didn't. Some sad things are happening, like David Bakhtiari's going down and down in overall. The one positive loop Musgrave now is a superstar. And talk about players regressing. Aaron Jones now is the backup. But at least we have this young stud to take over at running back. And funny on defense, Rashawn Gary once again became an X-Factor. Campbell's starting to get much worse, though. Same thing here with Kenny Clark. 
he's starting to regress a lot. And for the first time in a long time, we have a ton of salary cap to spend. And since we have so many players that are probably going to retire in the next year or two, we have got to make sure our front office actually spends some money and signs some good free agents for the first time in Jordan Love's career. Like, keep in mind, they haven't signed one free agent yet. So as of now, all we did was pick up our defensive tackles fifth year option and we re-signed Bakhtiari again. Please tell me we at least signed one, maybe two free agents. No, dude, what are we doing? We literally have 50 million to spend. Let me tell you something. This better be the best draft class I've ever laid my eyes on or I'm rioting. And honest to God, without a shadow of a doubt, I think by far that's our worst draft class. So honestly, our Super Bowl window might be over. I'm telling you, man, I think we're gonna have a ton of players retire after this season. So we need to go on another run because it might be a while before we go on another one. Here in 2027, can we just please return back to the playoffs? Fight back on top of the North exactly where we belong. And I think it's absolutely wild that 12 wins actually got us a first round bye. Had an offense just outside of the top five. Our defense sucked though. I mean, that's much better than a 16 interception season last year. Don't quite know if this is MVP numbers, although it's insane. The young running back had a good year, although Aaron Jones stole 10 touchdowns from him. And Jaden Reed actually had a little bit of a better season than Christian Watson this go around. At least again, Jordan Love got MVP votes. Keep in mind, we need this guy to win MVP because I want to add a Jordan Love jersey to my collection. Now, what are the odds he finally made it up to 90 overall? Finally! This, my friends, is another challenge completed. I mean, with them still only being 28, like, can he possibly become a 99 overall eventually? Now, let's see if we can add any playoff wins to the total. After our first round by the divisional round, we have to play the Giants for what I feel like is the 900th time. After getting a first round by, we cannot lose at Lambeau against the Giants. I'm not gonna allow it, and we got the dub, but we have to take on the freaking Cowboys. It was another gritty victory. Regardless of how good your team is, man, the Cowboys are always tricky. If we can beat them and head into another Super Bowl, I'm honest to God, going to be shocked, and we lost again. I just really wish I could ban the Cowboys from franchise, because they ruin everything. Oh, wow, what a shocker. The Cowboys win their third consecutive Super Bowl, and we do have our first OG Packer retire. We have $76 million to spend. There is no way we go, what, a fifth straight offseason without signing a single free agent? We didn't re-sign a soul. Does that mean that we finally signed a free agent? Oh my god, dude, it's a miracle! We really just gave about $60 million to a guy named Spencer Spencer. He better be the best left tackle of all time. Yo, 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 I missed a lot. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. Somehow I missed it, but yes, Jordan Love now has became a superstar X-Factor, finally at the age of 29. And not only did Christian Watson once again become an X-Factor, our tight end Luke Musgrave is now an X-Factor. And it is a good thing that we signed that left tackle out of free agency because apparently David Bakhtiari vanished into thin air. Now defensively, we lost our free safety, we lost Kenny Clark. But with the few studs that we have, I still think it's playoff worthy. Hopefully here we can finally return to having good drafts. And that, my friends, is exactly what I'm talking about. Boys, we needed a good free safety and we got one. Even though he only has normal development, it makes me feel a little bit better going into the new season. Now the main question is what we did this offseason enough to finally surpass the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, definitely not as good as last season, but I'll take another division crown. So that's definitely the worst our offense has been in a minute. At least our defense was about the same. I mean, another extremely good season from Jordan Love with his 39 touchdowns to only 7 picks. Again, though, I don't quite know if that's MVP numbers. Yeah, so our running game took a massive step backwards. Although Jordan Love with his 5 rushing touchdowns, that at least helps his MVP campaign. And I think this is about what we've came to expect from Jaden Reed and Christian Watson. Now, what are the odds? He finally won himself an MVP Gosh dang it, dude. Stolen again. I cannot believe with the career he's had so far, he hasn't won a single MVP. Can we at least add to Jordan Love's playoff win total? The game's at home and we lost. We got first rounded. We lost by a touchdown. The Cowboys make it to the Super Bowl again. I'm telling you, I'm going to scream. Ugh!
somebody at EA Sports has got to fix this nonsense. As Jordan Love turns 30, he's now a 91 overall and still has that X factor, which next season is again the final year of his contract, and with the Packers being stingy with their money, they really might not re-sign him. Imagine if he actually signed with the Cowboys. Same thing with Watson, it's the last season on his contract too. Oh god, same thing with Jaden Reed too. Cause odds are they probably won't be able to re-sign all three of them. So of all the years I've asked, we need this front office to have the best free agent class possible so we can try and go all out and win a Super Bowl next season cause it might be the last year we compete for a really long time. Or just again go out and just not sign a single soul. I've never seen such an incompetent front office, it's insane. Or at least we re-signed Elgton though. We almost had 60 million dollars to spend, dumb front office. And just forget everything I've said up to this point, Christian Watson, he's just gone, he left. Why would you not re-sign him? He still had a year left on his deal, I have no idea why we just let him go. I mean at this point, they better draft Calvin Johnson or Jordan Love might actually request a trade. I mean again man, that's just the super rough draft, like we got a good defensive end, but like the rest of it is just useless. I'm telling you, I will be shocked if this team makes the playoffs again. Here in 2029, which could be Jordan Love's last season, I honest to God would not be shocked if this is the least amount of wins they've won in a season this entire video. Consider me shocked that we won 11 games, but does it really matter because we're going to get first rounded by the Cowboys? At least we're back to having a top five offense. Worst our defense has performed in a while. I mean, that's another really good season from Jordan, but again, that's just not enough touchdowns to win the MVP like we need. And I think that's because our backup running back stole 16 rushing touchdowns from him. Now, at least these young receivers actually stepped up a bit in Christian Watson's absence. Jordan didn't even come in the top 10. Like, I want this guy to win the MVP so bad. Now, here we go before we inevitably once again lose to the Cowboys. What did I freaking tell you? I mean, playing the Cowboys is just an automatic loss. Like, who cares if they're the seventh seed? I guarantee you they make the Super Bowl again. Oh, wow. This is the most shocking thing I've seen all of 2023. At least we all can be happy for the Lions, though. At this point, I'm kind of hoping Jordan Love just signs with somebody else. Now for the moment of truth. Gosh dang it. He's still a Packer. They did give him a pretty fat three-year contract. And they gave Jaden Reed a four-year deal. And what a surprise. The Packers actually signed two free agents. Not like you had 50 more million to spend or anything. I mean, at least the draft class this time around wasn't absolutely putrid, I guess. Finally into a new decade. And we just start this decade off with actually making another legitimate Super Bowl run and not just get first rounded again. And somehow we get another first round bye with a 12 and 5 record. And consider me shocked the Dallas Cowboys actually didn't make the playoffs! Which means we actually have a chance this time to win another Super Bowl. Not the top offense, but close enough. Our defense continues to struggle. Like, come on now. 38 touchdowns to only 3 picks. If that's not MVP numbers, I don't know what is. And we could have thrown for more touchdowns if our backup running back didn't steal so many. Jaden Reed just out of nowhere, you know, with the most insane season I've ever seen. Come on, dude. If we're not gonna win MVP this year, I don't know when we will. Burrow stole it from us, dude. We're getting so close, but can't win the dang thing. Shout out Jaden Reed, though, for winning Offensive Player of the Year. After that insane season, he's still only a 91. But nothing this season matters if we can't win a single playoff game. No way we lose our first game again to the 9-8 Carolina Panthers. I am not gonna allow for it. Come on now. Give me a dog thing. Thank God, and guess who again? But it's about time we made some progress. For the first time in a long time, can we please, dear God, make it back to the Super Bowl? And we do! We got a big two-touchdown victory over the Giants. And if we can find a way to win the Super Bowl here against the Titans, that would make for Jordan Love's 10th career playoff win. I'm just gonna full send it this way with the click of a freaking button. Can Jordan Love win his second Super Bowl as a Packer and his 10th career playoff game and we get 
the win. Let's go. Too bad winning a Super Bowl MVP doesn't count because that's all we need to complete the challenge. And how do you win a Super Bowl and go down in overall? So from here, we're going to sim to the end of his contract and see if in these next two seasons, he can finally win a league MVP. So at least at the end of his contract year, they won the North again. And somehow Jordan is back to a 91 overall, still an X Factor, even though he's 33 years old and he still hasn't had his contract extended. So this could be his last playoff run as a Packer before he signs elsewhere. But now time to research and see if he finally won a league MVP. Come on now, 4,700 yards, 34 touchdowns to only two interceptions with a 76% completion percentage. Come on, dude. Imagine if his running backs didn't steal so many touchdowns from him. Two years later, you still have Jaden Reed and Luke Musgrave putting up ridiculous numbers. The problem here is Joe Burrow threw for more yards and more touchdowns, but he did throw for more interceptions, so maybe, just maybe, there is a shot. Jordan Love finally won a league MVP! Are you kidding? Gotten so close so many times! There's still a shot he won it last year, though. And of course, the MVP went to Joe Burrow again. He's actually won it three straight seasons. At this point, another Super Bowl would just be a consolation prize because we need that dang MVP. Which we got absolutely obliterated in the first round, so that's always nice. But I'm more interested in seeing if Jordan Love re-signs with the Packers or finally for the first time in his career signs elsewhere. Which of course our guy is still a Green Bay Packer. Which he's only signing one year deals at this point. And with him being 34 years old, we gotta start worrying now that he could retire any given offseason. So we really do need our guy to win the MVP ASAP. This is the worst overall the team's been in a long time. So again, we're gonna need a miracle to have a chance to make the playoffs. Not quite sure what that means. Oh, it means that we suck. That's great. I mean, although B, it's still a good year. It's just not MVP numbers. For the first time in a long time, he didn't even come in the top 10. At least for starters, he didn't retire. But will Jordan Love and the Packers finally move on and will he find a new team? I think it finally happened with how much our overall just dropped for the first time. Jordan Love is no longer a Green Bay Packer. Look at the free agent quarterback class at this point. Like, he's still a super Superstar X Factor with an 88 overall. I cannot wait to see what team he signs with. Our man signed with the Cincinnati Bengals. But don't they have Joe Burrow? What on God's earth are the Bengals doing here, dude? They still have Joe Burrow. Which he's still an X Factor, but he is a lower overall than Jordan. But I'm gonna do the smart thing here and not just have Joe Burrow sitting as a backup. I'm gonna see what we can actually get in return. No big deal, just swapped him for Bijan Robinson and a stud receiver. So what are the odds his first season away from Green Bay, he can clutch things up and finally win his first MVP. And making the playoffs is a good start. I mean, they had the best offense in the league. I just don't know if he threw for enough yards this year because Bijan kind of did steal my thunder. And at least 95 year old Garrett Wilson at this point still catching 18 touchdown passes a season. Not good, dude. I'm pretty certain this Jets QB won the award. You gotta be kidding me. We came in second again. Can we at least win another Super Bowl? No. Now, please don't tell me Jordan Love retired. Okay, at least he didn't retire. I mean, I like our setup here in Cincinnati, so I really hope they re-sign him. Oh, God. He signed with the Eagles, which is a good thing because they look like a Super Bowl contender. At least they gave him a two-year deal, and that is a stupid, stupid cheap contract, which this offense looks ridiculously good. Maybe just maybe good enough to carry a 35-year-old grandfather to his first ever MVP, which I'm not gonna lie, 9-8, and eight, it's a pretty big disappointment. Although we literally had the second best offense in the league. I mean, that's one heck of a season, I gotta tell you. It was 75% completion percentage, but I guarantee you he comes in second somehow. Please, come on, at the age of 35, please no dude he doesn't even come barely in the top 10 what the heck oh my god now we have to hope he doesn't retire which thank 
God, he didn't. Which he's barely hanging on. Still has a superstar, but as an 81 overall. Into 2036, and I'm telling you guys, I have a bad feeling this might be Jordan Love's last chance. How do we miss the playoffs again as a 90 overall team? I mean, back-to-back -back seasons with the second best offense. I mean, again, incredible. Just stupid numbers with 76% completion percentage. But I can't wait to come in second again. Let's go ahead and let me down once again jesus christ dude second again i mean he's still a solid qb so there's a slight chance that's if he doesn't retire this offseason which as of now we're in the clear which he did finally fall down to normal development as a 78 overall i mean for crying out loud the guy's 38 at this point at least he resigned for another season in philly 2037 could very easily be jordan love's final season so can we just please make it count. Which, fellas, you know, I, I didn't expect that, but I'm not complaining. About time Jordan Love went off with another team. I mean, our offense kind of went backwards. Our defense was top-notch, though. I mean, again, like a stupid good season, but I'm sure there's somebody out there that made us come in second. I mean, I think it's gonna be close because we threw for more touchdowns, but this guy threw for more yards and less interceptions and a better completion percentage. Maybe it helps that Jordan had three rushing touchdowns. If we come in second again, man, my heart just can't take it. Oh my god, dude, we did it! It's a miracle! Oh my god! As a 38-year-old normal development, 78 overall, Jordan Love finally adds an MVP trophy to his cabinet. I literally cannot believe he completed this at the tail end of his career. Like, I'm a 28-year grown man, dude, and that just gave me an adrenaline rush. Now, can Jordan Love take it one step further and make it back to another Super Bowl? No. If he calls it quits here, though, I wouldn't blame him, which, to my surprise, he actually didn't retire, which he probably should have called it quits because nobody even signed him. The reigning MVP winner, by the way. Which next offseason, it finally happened after 19 spectacular seasons in the National Football League. But not before finishing 7th all-time in career passing yards and 6th all-time in career passing touchdowns. And according to Madden, only the 4th best quarterback of all time. Not to forget that he completed his career challenge, which to hold up my side of the bargain, the Jordan Love jersey's officially been purchased and as soon as it comes in, I'll film with it for an entire week. Now hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully I earned your subscription to my channel and if you did you can click right here to watch another video where I play the entire career of Patrick Mahomes and if you thought Jordan Loves was crazy, Patrick Mahomes was on another level.